All right, here's the latest update on the FEMA 1.6. As you can see, I've uh, got some paint on it, finally. Kind of drug my feet on that. But uh, I also made the stencil. Uh, my son, if you watched previous videos, my son uh, accidentally came up with the FEMA 1.6 name. So I got that on there. And I also, uh, you can see periods in between the F, the E, and the M, and the A. And I, I wanted to put those in there just because, you know, it is... It is a product of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Uh, you know, this was built directly off the FEMA plan, so I thought I'd leave the, the periods in between the FEMA letters just because, you know, it is what it is. So what I'll do is, uh, I taped off my ball valves, I taped off the blower motor itself, I taped off some miscellaneous nuts and bolts just to kind of give it some contrast. Uh, something else I did on the back side here, I taped off all of my piping system, with the exception of the short little pipe that runs from the gasifier to the cyclone filter. Uh, the reason I taped all of this off is because it's raw steel, and this is a piping system like I've talked about in my previous videos, but all of this uh, surface area also helps to cool the gas, so it's also, you know, a cooling system, and if I was afraid if I were to coat that with paint, it would hinder its ability to dissipate heat, and I didn't want that. So uh, again, I left it, I left it raw steel because that that helps cool the gas, and I'm afraid that any any kind of covering I put on it uh, whatsoever would hinder its ability again to dissipate heat. So I left that raw. Um, I have yet to fire it since the paint job. Um, I don't believe that the paint is going to change. Uh, the performance of the gas fire at all, again because of the barrel, uh, my filter, salvage drum, it already had green paint on it. Um, the uh, main gas fire body itself, the 16 gallon grease drum, it already had a silver factory paint on it. My uh, cyclone filter, it had a factory gray paint on it. So I don't really see the new paint job changing its performance in any way. Uh, if it does, I will, of course, do an update on that and let you know how it changed, but I really don't see it making any kind of a change whatsoever. Um, I went with black. Uh, they had several colors. This is actually a, a uh, high heat paint. It's, it's designed for uh, like headers and, and really high kind of high temperature applications. I'll grab the, the can here. What it is, what we're looking at. Is the name of the paint is called VHT, uh, Flame Proof, and it's a really high temperature, it's got ceramic in it, um, high temperature paint. It says right on the can, header paint. Um, I've used this paint before uh, on some kerosene heaters, uh, and I tried several different types of paint, several different heat ranges of paint. Everything that I tried burnt off, with the exception of this VHT. Um, this stuff says here it's good for 704 to 1093 degrees Celsius. And, uh, you know, the outside of my, the hottest part of my gasifier, I would say, is right around this rim at about 270 degrees. So it's well below, you know, even the minimum threshold on the, the paint temperature. Uh, so there it is. There's the FEMA in its fresh, shiny new paint. Please rate and comment.